it says, I work at Loughborough University and I'm the Occupational Health Advisor at the University. Um, I don't know if anyone knows what that is, I've spoken to a few of you already today, um, but essentially I'm a qualified nurse by trade um, and it's a specialism of nursing. And my role involves dealing with any employee with any health related matters at work and advising on disability issues and reasonable adjustments, that sort of thing. So the bulk of my work is, is around mental health um, related matters. Um, all sorts of things, stress, anxiety, depression, people just generally struggling with, with, with life and work. Um, and our university is no different from any other in the sector at the moment um, with all the funding changes and um, we had a big restructure last year, 30 odd departments into eight schools, so there's been a lot, a lot of change at the university. Um, I, I wanted to say, I had a conversation earlier on, made me remember that I'm actually grateful for the job I've got and it's because of Springboard and not just because of the reason why I'm standing here today, but actually um, the, my predecessor went on the springboard course at Loughborough University, decided to take a radical change in her career <laughs> to do a PhD, um, so the job came up, so there we go, so thank you springboard. <laughs> That's in them talk. No. <laughs> so just about a year ago, my manager sent an email around to all the chaps in our team about a course called Navigator. And, um, didn't really know anything about it, but they explained a bit about the, the springboard and we'd had it at Loughborough for a few years and they've got all the, all the other courses as well. Um, so I, I, I thought, well, okay, I'll ask myself two questions. Shall I go on it for, uh, for two reasons, shall I go on it to see whether or not I can actually recommend this professionally, you know, to anyone that I see, you know, in my normal day-to-day -day work, <coughs> uh, any chaps that are struggling with their life. And secondly, it, would it be useful for me to spend a bit of time Personally, and a bit, a bit of a kickback and a bit of a look at my own personal direction. So I'm pleased to say I came away with the resounding yes to both of those questions. Um, the course was run by a gentleman here in this room today, by, by name Chris Gunning, gentleman over there, and we had a fantastic time with him. Um, his relaxed style really made it kind of just move along really in a nice flow, and the networking and coaching groups were, were phenomenal, and they were really powerful to me, and that's what I got the most, most out of. Um, and it came at a good time for me as well because it was, um, I was a new, new starter in the organisation. Um, it's great to meet people from all over the university that I probably wouldn't otherwise have met. And nice to share, you know, some similar and not so similar experiences. So help me stop and think again about where I've been and where I'm going. It was also nice to realise that actually I'm not doing too bad at the moment. Um, but it just, you know, again, just good to have a bit of time just to reflect on that. Um, currently I'm very settled at Loughborough as I said and it's a great place to work and it's a great campus. I feel settled for the first time in my career which is um, quite something. Um, it's, navigators help me kind of a little bit as well understand a bit more the differences between men and women and, 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 and the, the, the relationship I have with my wife and um, although I was joking earlier I get told to stop personally developing her, she puts her hand up and says, I know what you're doing now. <laughs> stop that counselling rubbish. <laughs> Um, and, and again, I've been accused of being a fixer, because that's what men do, isn't it, sometimes we try to fix things. So I've learned to take a bit more of a collaborative approach, shall we say. There's one obvious uh, benefit that I personally gained from the course that, that makes me unique at Loughborough, and that's that I started thinking, well, actually, I'd quite like to have a go at being a trainer, I'd like if the opportunity came up. And it just so happened that Claire and Siobhan at the staff development team, who some of you know, were also having the same thought, and uh, they said, Tim, would you fancy being the, the trainer? So, uh, fantastic. Um, so, so it came to pass. Um, we had a very intensive week, as again, as you all will know, and the the, uh, the familiar activities to most of you: uh, the learning, practice, video, in dissecting the video, honing, repracticing, doing, repeating that daily for five days. At Loughborough now, I'm three quarters of the way to deliver my first Navigator course, and it's going really well actually. Um, and I've got a great bunch of guys on the course. I've also made it into the university magazine. It's, it's a cracking read, I tell you. <laughs> Just my view. Um, it's got not a bad photograph in it, but unfortunately, due to what I would call slightly questionable editorial decision, the strap line reads "Just for Men." And I've been assured that the photo is not about the before picture of a certain men's hair care. <laughs> Some of you will know what I'm talking about. So I've now proudly got my Navigator book on the shelf in my consulting office and I do refer to it and I point at it quite often when I talk to guys about, um, about you know, sort of uh, personal development. Um, it's not a shameless marketing plug because of course then I, I will end up running the course. But, um, and I make the link again to Springboard for, for the ladies as well. 
Um, I do explain to them, of course, that my two roles are very distinct and I, I, whatever's discussed in one, I don't discuss in the other due to confidentiality. But I think they really do complement each other very well and it really fits with everything else I'm, I'm hoping and trying to do with, in, with regards to stress and mental health issues at, at the university. So as with anyone's life, there's twists and turns and interlinking strands in mine. I don't think I'm any different from anyone else. I believe that sometimes people need help unravelling and making sense of those strands. Um, and I think that if we open our minds, we can all learn a, a new skills to adapt and develop in, in this changing world. And that's why navigators work for me. And I also see that you know, see it works for women as well. I haven't experienced the other programmes yet, but I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the next day for the Spring Forward course and hopefully uh, book on that as well. So really, for me personally, navigators help me make a little bit more sense of my life. Um, even though I would class myself as quite a resilient person, um, but I never profess to knowing everything about life. I mean, it'd be pretty dull, wouldn't it, if, if you thought you did. To me, there's no such thing as a stress-free life, but I want to be damn sure I can deal with whatever is thrown at me. Um, so I'm now, and I always will be, a strong advocate of the whole, the whole suite of programmes. So that value of me wanting to help people still exists today, and um, I hope for many years to come with that as well. Um, so thank you very much for listening, and if I can help you with any questions, I'll be happy.